my path career wise to where I'm at right now has been about as disjointed as I could have ever imagined. Um, there's no way that in high school I could have charted out like these are the f 10 things or five things I'm going to do, you know, post college uh, or even post high school to arrive where I'm at. It's been a process of I feel like being very receptive to life experiences and then taking one thing at a time. I just want to make sure I'm always learning things and I just don't want to psych myself into out into thinking that oh well we've been doing this for three years so we know everything because we've learned a lot but there's still a lot more to learn so we're at a moment now where I think we're trying to just look at where the gaps are in our knowledge and really try to spend time learning as much as we can whether it's from each other or other people in the community um, wherever we can find kind of more uh, wisdom for the the folks who like find themselves trying to start something new some small things that I'd recommend are to start small so think about what you can do right now with the resources that you have and the talent or expertise that you have um, available at the moment so don't restrict acting in the now just because you don't have everything you want think about what's possible even if it's something really small um, try to do that at the same time think about your like vision or your mission and really mission is I think the best word to kind of describe like either your personal mission or your organizational mission or your company mission um, take it beyond oh I'd like to make some money or oh, I'd like to do good in the world but really stretch that as specific as possible what do you hope to accomplish that will both make you from a creative or impact or career standpoint feel proud we made a really conscious effort to get to know other people in the community who were involved in the field that we were passionate in so um, I started volunteering a lot and volunteerism was probably the best thing that we ever did and continue to do so when there was someone doing something interesting or was part of an organization that we thought was really like fantastic we tried to volunteer whenever we could just to learn more to offer whatever we could whatever way we could be helpful but at the same time have a chance to learn about what they were doing I found it interesting that I grew up in this area and for a good part of my youth while I loved growing up here and being raised here I also just had what I think is pretty normal the desire to want to get far away from home and see the world and live in other places and travel and all these things and I also thought that for the kind of work that I wanted to do I needed to be somewhere else and I think that what's been really enlightening and rewarding about the work that we've been doing here has been reconnecting with my own personal history and um, to, to, the, to DC and the DC area and then also my family's history that extends like, much farther back and that by embracing my own connection to the city and then finding a way to bring what I've been passionate about into that mix has been much more like rewarding and liberating and I think fruitful than trying to do that in other places that I was less familiar with.